a 2 kg mud ball drops from rest at a height of 15 meter. So let us say this is height, which is 15 meter. This is mud ball. So it drops from this height to the ground. Okay. If the impact between the ball and the ground lasts for 0 0.50 second, what is the average net force? Average net force exerted by the ball on the ground. So this problem is related to the momentum and we can use the concept of kinematic equations as well to find the velocity because uh, to calculate the change in momentum we need velocity because momentum is mom uh, mass times velocity. Let me write down first identify Okay, so identification means what are the given quantities in the equation? That is the main thing. So mass is given here 2.0 kilogram, right? Right here, mass of this mud ball and then height, which is denoted by S, yes, is negative 15 meter. I can take it negative because it is going down, right? Falling down from here and the time of impact when this ball arrives here the time of impact between the ground and this mud ball is given by 0 0.50 second okay so these are given things and you have to find f a brace is equal to what this is called target variable target variable Okay, so this is identification. After you are able to identify the problem, you have to set off the problem. Okay, set off means which equation you need to know. So, uh, to calculate F average, average, our formula is delta P by delta T. This is simply Newton's second law, right, in terms of momentum. The force is equal to rate of change of momentum, linear momentum, delta P divided by delta T. So, we already have T, delta T, which is 0 0.50 second, it's here. But we don't know delta P. To calculate delta P, we need to have final momentum and initial momentum. So, we know the initial velocity of this ball, right? This ball starts to fall from rest so initial velocity of this ball is zero but we don't know what is the velocity right here so our first job is to calculate this velocity that is final velocity when this ball hits the ground okay let's calculate here so to calculate that final velocity we have to use kinematic equation which is v square is equal to uh, v naught square minus 2gs right this is the kinematic equation in which v is final velocity v naught is initial velocity at the top right here right here and v naught is the v is the final velocity here and v naught is initial velocity at this point okay height is yes this is 15 meter is given there and g you know which is acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second squared okay so if v is zero if v naught is zero i can write down v square is equal to negative 2 g h okay so what is v then v is equal to negative 2 g h okay so putting value here negative 2 z is 9.8 multiplied by negative 15 meter okay so negative and negative will be cancelled and if i calculate all these values uh, i will get 17.1 meter per second 
okay so this is the uh, velocity that is final velocity when this ball impacted to the ground but our goal is to find f average f average so f average is equal to delta p divided by delta t delta p is m v minus m v naught okay so whole divided by delta t okay so mass is given which is 2 meter let me go back and see mass is uh, 2 kilogram right it's given here mass is 2 kilogram so let us put all these values and get the final results f average equal to mass is common so i can take it out and 2.0 and inside will be v minus uh v naught what is v v is 17.1 minus v naught is zero okay so uh divided by whole divided by 0 0.50 this will give you 34.2 divided by 0 0.5 five zero right that's much so f average again f average is equal to uh if you divide 34.2 by 0.5 you will get something 68.4 newton right because f is force i can write down unit of force which is newton okay so the average force impacted exerted by the mud ball on the ground is 68.4 so finally you can evaluate the problem right evaluate to evaluate the problem so one thing is we we can see the unit if you calculate carry the uh, units of the all these parameters you will get the unit of newton which is si unit of the force that is one way to evaluate also the distance traveled by this mud ball is not too much so it looks like the result is reasonable right 68.4 newton force so this is your answer